Okay, this is another shocking revelation. The North Atlantic current may cease temporarily in the next century. This is by University of Groningen on Fizz.org. Yesterday's article. The North Atlantic current, as we know, transforms transports the warm water from the Gulf of Mexico towards Europe providing much of the northwestern Europe with a relatively mild climate. So what happens if this stops? You can imagine, it's going to be like a mini ice age in the northern hemisphere. So scientists suspect that melt water from Greenland and the excessive rainfall could interfere with this ocean current. Simulations by scientists from the University of Groningen and the Utrecht University showed that it was unlikely that the current will come to a complete stop due to small and rapid changes in precipitation over the North Atlantic. However, there is a 15% likelihood that there will be a temporary change in the current in the next 100 years. The results were published on the 30th of December in the journal Scientific Reports. Quote, the oceans store an immense amount of energy and the ocean currents have a strong effect on the Earth's climate, says University of Groningen Associate Professor in Numerical Mathematics, Fred Wubbs, together with his colleague Henk Dijkstra from Utrecht University. They studied ocean currents for some 20 years. The box model, ocean scientists have found that the Atlantic Ocean currents are sensitive to the amount of fresh water at the surface. Since the runoff of meltwater from Greenland has increased due to climate change and has rainfall, as has the rainfall over the ocean, it has been suggested that this may slow down or even reverse the North Atlantic current blocking the transport of heat to Europe. Simulations of the effects of fresh water on the currents have already been performed for some decades. Quote, both high resolution models based on the equation described fluid flows and highly simplified box models have been used, explains Wubbs. He says, our colleagues in Utrecht created a box model that describes present-day large-scale processes in the ocean rather well. Total collapse. The idea was to use this box model to estimate the likelihood of small fluctuations in freshwater input caused, causing a temporary slowing down or a total collapse of the North Atlantic current. The current shows nonlinear behavior, which means that small changes can have large effects. The evolution of the physics described by the box model can only be obtained using simulations. Quote, as the transitions we were looking for are expected to be rare events, you need a huge number of simulations to estimate the chance of them happening, says Woops. However, the Dutch scientists found that a French scientist had devised a method to select the most promising, promising simulations, reducing the number of full simulations required. Sven Bars, a PhD student of WUBS, implemented this method efficiently and linked it to the Utrecht mo box model. Daniel Castellana, a PhD student of Dijkstra, performed the simulations. And WUBS says these simulations showed that the chances of a total collapse of the North Atlantic current within the next thousand years are negligible. Interruption. The temporary interruption of the delivery of relatively warm water to northwestern Europe is more likely. In our simulations, the chances of this happening the next 100 years are 15%. Such temporary transitions may cause cold spells in the North Atlantic, although this needs to be verified in further studies. Therefore, the current study is just a first step in determining this risk. The model does not take into account considerable changes in freshwater in the North Atlantic, which can be caused by the melting of the ice sheets. Wub says, confirming our results through simulation with the high-resolution climate model will be the next challenge. This is provided by University of Groningen. It's on FIS.org. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. 
These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.